Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to share this process video of a painting I did not too long ago. Um, since I thought maybe some of you guys would be interesting and I enjoyed filming this. So, let's go! Uh, right now I am priming my canvas with some white acrylic paint since I didn't have any gesso, but it turned out pretty good, so I'm happy with, with how it came out. Oh, look at my little potato boy. He was standing at my desk and I thought I'd share him with you guys since he's so adorable. Okay, now I'm doing some initial sketches. I had this idea of drawing a heart on a plate with a chunk taken out and have the heart of chili bee cake. I painted this back when the everything is a cake meme was going on. So it was fun. In the beginning, I wanted to draw a hand holding the knife, but then I realized that it wouldn't fit in the canvas since knives are pretty dull. So I ended up just throwing the heart on a plate and then the knife next to it. Now I'm starting the sketch on the canvas. Uh, this is when I decided to put the knife on the table. And knives are actually pretty complicated to draw because they are not super, well, some knives are super straight, but the one I was drawing had a s slight curve to it, so it took me a while to get it proportional. You have no idea how many pictures of actual anatomical hearts I had to look at. This was kind of gross. Don't search it up, guys, um, I, unless you have to, really because it's pretty gory and not very nice. Okay, so now I'm uh, drawing all the arteries in and marking out where I want to have the slice taken out. I thought it would be cool if I drew some jam going down as if it was blood. So I drew it in the little space where the slice would be before it's taken out. Now I'm starting to paint in all the shadows for the arteries. This is actually pretty complicated because hearts are just little pink fleshy bags that pump blood. So it's all pretty much the same color. Uh, making everything stand out was uh, kind of complicated, but it was a nice challenge. I have never really painted something like this. Um, I think only maybe once or twice before. I've done a painting of some ribs with some organs in it. And that was fun, but it was very complicated. And I feel like this is in the same department as that, <laughs> due to all the colors in it. Oh, this is a different day, so sorry for the lightning change. Not lightning, lighting. Excuse me. I was looking at more uh, pictures of hearts, even though I've had to dissect one for science class, but I was just looking at some pictures and making sure I had the colors right, and I realized that they're a bit lighter than I was painting it. So I decided to just do a bit of a gradient for the shadows and the highlights. And I added a little bit of blue to my paint, since blood has quite a blue tint to it sometimes, and a blue undertone. So I just went ahead and started making more layers. As I was painting, I realized that my painting was drying much darker than I wanted it to, so I kept adding more and more layers of lighter colors to it to make the veins pop out. Now I'm starting on the plate. Um, I painted a pink base and then started to put blue on it since I wanted all the colors in the painting to interact with each other, but I still wanted to feel cold and surgical, that's why I added um, so much blue 
in the shadows for the plate, for example. For this painting, I wasn't really interested in blending all the colors perfectly together. I feel like I do that a lot in paintings usually, but I just really like seeing brush strokes in paintings. So I tried to take that approach with this, with this piece. I'm starting on the knife. Painting the knife was really interesting. It's very fun to paint metallic objects. I've always found it very fun. So I started off doing a brown base, making the edge a bit darker to make it stand out compared to the background. And then I uh, started adding grays and whites and blues and just showed all the dimension of everything on the knife. For the handle of the knife, I started off with the highlights instead of the shadows and then I worked my way towards adding the black. I also added brown as a base for the knife because um, brown can have a really reddish undertone and I wanted the colors from the heart to also come across in the knife. Here I'm adding more highlights to the heart and adding red to some of the veins to make them pop. And I'm just trying to define all the shapes so that you can tell better what's going on. And now I start with the background. The background was actually really interesting to draw. Not draw, paint. <laughs> I wanted to include all the colors that I had used for the undertones, so I started off with a weird brownish grayish beige, and then I added more greens, more reds, and worked in layers trying to capture all the dimension. Even though I was painting a heart, I didn't want it to seem warm, I wanted it to seem surgical, and even creepy. I don't really find this creepy, but... My family did, which I found pretty hilarious. Here I am refreshing my palette since I need a few more colors. Um, I work in these uh, little containers and I just put all the colors there, I mix them and if I have to put them away I just spray them with a bit of water and close them so that way I can reuse my paint. Now I'm starting with the cake. This was very complicated. I want to do another cake painting someday just to learn how to draw all the little crevices in, um, in cake. It was pretty complicated to show dimension. I think I started off way too dark, but even then I couldn't really do that much detail for the cake. But I am, I am happy with the result. I just know that next time I draw something similar, it will probably turn out better. Now we go onto the filling. I feel like blood has a pretty yellowish undertone, so I started off by doing a really really light watery yellow base, and then I uh, proceeded to add red, blue, and purple, since blood is formed by quite a few colors, it's not just pure red. So I start off doing red in the thinner areas, and then in areas where a lot of blood collected I added purple and black. And I dripped it down a bit and I couldn't capture this bit um, since I ran out of space in my camera but I dragged the blood 
towards the edge of the plate and in the little droplet of blood that hangs off the edge I added more black to make it look heavier and this is the end result I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next one goodbye